Rockies! Virginia Tech gets the win, moves on to the Elite Eight of the WNIT. Coach, a good performance from start to finish from your group. What did you like? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you probably, uh, it'd be easier to ask me what didn't I like. Sure. Uh, but uh, no, I, I was very pleased with the kids' effort the whole night. Uh, and, you know, we, we got some uh, spectacular performances, uh, starting with Rachel Camp. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, you know, I, 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 I can't be happier for anybody more because she epitomizes what I want in a student athlete. She epitomizes what Virginia Tech wants uh, in a student athlete. And for her to, to, to battle injuries and, you know, everything, to be able to come out here and play and play like this and have the success, she deserves it more than just anybody. And I, I'm very happy for her. And she got us going. She yep. got us going. She did a tremendous job on, on uh, not only is she running our offense and, and turning into a little point guard, She's guarding the best player on the other teams. You know, she did a great job tonight against Bree Cavanaugh. Bree Cavanaugh came into this game, you know, with uh, 26 and 32 points, respectfully, in the last two games. And, and Rachel did a fantastic job. I think she had 11 and she hit one at the end. Rachel did a tremendous job, but she got, she's running the offense. She's doing a tremendous job for us. And I can't be happier for a kid. I thought Reagan played extremely well. Uh, well, she was a beneficiary of some of the passes. Uh, you know, the other kids were finding her on. Uh, Alexis Jean did a really good job. But I thought her defense was really good. Start with Rachel Camp for sure. 20 points, four rebounds, four assists. She did have one steal, and she started that mindset of getting to the basket in that first quarter, driving and getting to the basket. How important was that mindset to get the offense going? Well, it's very important. You know, you mentioned before, uh, you know, their defense, you know, has been one of the better defenses in the country because they hold people down uh, uh, statistically. But we wanted to make sure we felt like we were superior athletically, and we wanted to try to take advantage of that. We knew we were deeper, uh, and, and the kids did that. They didn't just settle for the three-point shot. And we shot three-pointers, that's what we do. Uh, but we really went downhill, played a lot. And, you know, and Rachel started that by getting to the hole and not only finding for herself, but creating for others. And as a result, we got off to a good start. You know, second quarter was phenomenal. You know, we scored 31 points in the second quarter. And uh, so we really got it going. And, you know, and, and we're doing it. We're doing it so many different ways. You know, we didn't have to lean on Taylor to, you know, score every point for us. And, you know, other kids stepped up. And, uh, and so it's just really a good team effort. I want to ask you about Alexis Jean as well. 12 points, 9 rebounds. I know it's not necessarily going up against Duke. It's not going up against Notre Dame. It's not going up against Louisville. But she's put together a really strong three-game stretch in this WNIT. What have you liked from her performance? Well, she's getting healthier. Every day that goes by, she gets healthier. You know, we, we can't forget the fact that, you know, she had surgery and uh, she didn't come back until Christmas time. And uh, so every every day, every game is, you know, her getting an opportunity to get healthier. And, uh, and she's doing so. And, you know, as you mentioned, you know, she's had some favorable matchups and she's done a really good job uh, of taking advantage of it. And uh, I really like her energy and her effort right now. Uh, she's probably as focused as she's been all year. And uh, that's something that we've really been striving for. And, and she's getting there. She's getting there. So I'm very happy for her. And uh, we're going to need her production uh, like this, you know, next game. You know, I don't know who it's going to be, whether it's going to be uh, a, a friendly foe or if it's going to be another SEC opponent but uh, yeah. I mean, we're looking forward to it and she's going to have to step up and play and play this way play even better. How about the passing in this game for Virginia Tech? I, I saw so many of those give and goes really work uh, to perfection for you guys. Again, I know it's a different opponent and the hands maybe aren't as active, but the passing seemed really crisp tonight for the No, Huggies. No, you know, I, I don't really think it mattered who we would have played tonight. They did a really good job of looking for each other, finding each other, putting themselves in position to uh, take advantage of that. And it, it's we, we're getting more and more comfortable. And I can't stress this enough that, you know, this run right here, you know, equals our run last year. and uh, and But it's giving us valuable time. Uh, on the court and uh, the, watching these kids grow and you know you and I have talked about it a million times where we've had to invent ourselves and reinvent ourselves and uh, we get into the point where we're getting comfortable again you know Stephanie Gately you know the coach there she you know shook my hand after the game and she said you guys are getting better and better every game and, and it's just you know when, when you take away we don't have a true point guard on our roster and, uh, and Rachel's doing a tremendous job Reagan's doing a tremendous job uh, of running our offense and getting us into sets and, uh, and whatnot. And we're finding a different way to play. And we've done that like five times this year. You know, just found a way to play uh, with this group. Uh, and it's a credit to them. It's a credit to our coaching staff and, you know, what they've done. Everybody's put in tireless at time, uh, tireless hours to try to figure it out and figure out what's the best for this team. And uh, I like where we're going. I like the way they share the ball. I like the attitude. I love the way that they, they play together and they come together. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun right now, a lot of fun. And I think our you're, I think everybody, Hokie Nation, people who are coming out here and watching, they're watching us grow up. They're watching us grow up. And I've seen it. 
I've seen it happen, and I've seen where it, where it takes you uh, when you can grow up, and, uh, and I'm watching our team grow up right in front of our eyes. All right, you just said attitude. I'll finish on the same question that I asked in the pregame interview with, can you tell that the fun and the enjoyment level uh, is growing round by round no right now for Virginia Tech? No question. You know, you, you can tell it. You can, you can see they're getting more and more confident uh, in each other. Uh, you, they're getting more and more confident as a team. Uh, they don't bicker, you know, if, if something happens, they're very quick to encourage each other and, uh, okay, it's okay, but we'll get it next time. When we go into huddles, you know, they, they used to be scared to make a mistake because, okay, now they just felt like they were letting people down or, you know, something might, that bicker might be go back and forth. And that's what happens when you're building a program. And it doesn't happen a lot, but, you know, you really, you can see them right now. They, they are just really together. They're really together and, and they're just kind of, you know, okay, you make a mistake, I got your back. And that's the kind of mentality you have to have. That's what the good teams have. And, uh, you know, it's better late than never because I think it's going to really help us for next year. But I, I really like the way they're going and how they're playing and uh, they're covering for each other. Coach, congrats. Thank you very much, Andrew. Final score, 81-50. to 50. Virginia Tech advances to the Elite Eight of the WNIT coming up in the next couple of days.